Cell phone to a wireless router. Turn her on. Unlock. Settings. Settings. More. Key phrase portable hotspot. We're going to set it up. We're going to change yellow dog. I'll pick a Muppet. Good old Muppets. Big motherfucking bird. Almost sounds pornographic. It's my dog. We did not turn on the security to save time. Go ahead and turn on the portable hotspot. Second or third time. Alright, it's now active. So we go over to the laptop. And we refresh multiple times. No way was it that fast. Alright, so Big Bird. Disconnected from Yellow Dog. Big Bird established. And let's see if she goes in the first try. Oh, that's too easy. It's easy as apple pie. Easy as apple pie. So I'm running CyanogenMod Mod 11 on this phone. This is just the standard CyanogenMod Mod ROM. You can get that pretty much for every single phone that's on the market. Obviously, you're going to have to strip your ISO for your regular phone. So you'll need root. You'll need to um, get an installer to be able to install CyanogenMod. Although CyanogenMod has a non-root installer now, so you can actually utilize that. Um, but that's just in the options of Android. Android already has that locally, um, and you can utilize that to make your own uh, Wi-Fi router. If you're in a pinch and you don't, you're not able to download uh, like Foxy Fi or one of those programs. So. Legal disclaimer: Know your data plan contract ahead of time. Oh yes. We are not responsible for your data plan. <laughs> I actually had this with a friend. We downloaded Foxify. She didn't have root on her phone, and it shut down her phone. So she had to reboot her phone, uninstall Foxify to be able to utilize her regular stock uh, freaking Wi-Fi router thing. It was so ridiculous. It could be worse. My buddy, we tried it on his phone, and the cell phone company said, Oh, you're tethering now. Great. Guess what? We're charging you an extra $40 per gig. $40 a gig? Yep. What are we in Africa? No. It's... Matong doodle. <laughs> like, what the crap? That is so horrible. What what uh, company was he with? No clue. It's probably Verizon. That or T Mobile. Oh, man. I swear. I cannot wait to get off of T Mobile. One day, I will get off of them. I don't have a plan or anything. It's just. It's just so easy. But they're the uncarrier. What do you mean they're the young carrier? No, they don't work the cell phone. The, the cost of the cell phone, they don't work into your monthly contract. So, eh, you get the expensive upfront cost of, I gotta dish out 600 bucks for a smartphone. Or you buy a $100 oh. Motorola Atrix HDMI out for $100. Uh, good old eBay. But <laughs> you're not locked into a contract because they're not trying to recoup that cost. Yeah. Which also means... I'm on prepaid. Yes, once your contract is expired, does your cell phone bill go down with Verizon or AT&T? Probably not. It's because they're still recouping the cost of that phone. Yeah. Unless you upgrade every two years, you're wasting money paying for a phone you don't have. Yeah, I'm really... There's no way. I, I refuse to use uh, any of the, the regular plans, purchasing some crazy-ass phone for however much. I mean, I might spend, like... I wouldn't mind spending two or $300 on a phone, but I'm not going to spend... Five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars on one cell phone? That's ridiculous. You know, I'm about to go back to the clamshell phone. Psh, play that flips? You got a yes. phone that flips, dog? Yes, I'm, I'm going to go back to the clamshell phone, get the Wi-Fi hotspot. Nice. I'm going to get that double-sided sticky tape. 
Just go ahead, <laughs> attach the Wi-Fi hotspot to the back of the monitor. Okay. All right. So now I got the phone for the phone calls. I got the computer for the computer, as opposed to doing it all in one device. Yeah. I tried to do that in the Middle East. It was impossible. I I had a what was it? A My Touch or something like that. It was like a Nexus Exhibit Two My Touch or something like that. It was an awesome phone, but you try to utilize that for more than a month in a shithole? No, that ain't gonna happen. Do something about these digits. Touch screens don't like them. You got some massive heads, dog. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I've tried, I've tried the pinky approach. <laughs> the smallest digit I have. That's what she said. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the, the screens, I don't know. I, I like having the... I have better luck with a Bluetooth keyboard going to my... How did you dig the Motorola Atrix? Actually, it did pretty well. I only, I only had to hit the back, backspace key a couple of times when I was doing the test runs, where for some reason it tried to spell bird with the number three. <laughs> it's probably just saying and Jamal being tactical with you, uh, trying to be all cool and shit. <laughs> but, but compared to the Cassie and the HTC touchscreens that I've used, even the Apple, you know, it did pretty well. I saw a girl today with a original Apple cell phone. I didn't know that. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with Apple, but it was one of the original ones. And it was really interesting to me because the screen was just so small. You know what I, I was just confused by it. You know what I just thought about? I'm going to turn this off before the laptop uses up a bunch of data. All we need is for it to do an update and the entire update to go through. Oh, now with you, Vinci, dude. All of my updates are, uh, I have the sudo app get update, meaning, you know, god command in the terminal, you know, download stuff. But, um, that's why I like Ubuntu, number one. But I would rather not use Ubuntu, but right now for production, I really have to. I don't really have a choice. It kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, we all love Mint, but it's got a little catching up to do. Mint and Arch, I mean, you can do video production on them, but, and Fedora, but the problem is, is you're not going to have, like, OpenShot or some of the other ones that are, like, time-tested with a lot of YouTubers using it. Yeah, but I can and, also drag race a Subaru, but I'm never going to win. Well, Subarus are not made for drag racing. I mean, sure you can, you know, <laughs> but you're not really going to be, you know, doing it too too fast. But yeah, if you guys uh, want more information. It's better than a vet. Hell yeah, I'm with you there. If you guys want more information about uh, the Cyanogen Mod project, um, I'll have it in the show notes um, as well. If you want to download Ubuntu and you, you want to try something out, you can always just get the CD, or I can send you a CD if you want. I have an extra CD laying around. I can just send it to you guys. Um, you just try it out. You just boot the live CD. You don't have to change anything. And you can just test out whatever uh, projects and stuff that you do. So. Now, uh, what's your background, Corey? What do you what do you do? Right now, part time store lackey at Staples. Beforehand, I've store been, lackey. What does a store lackey do? Store lackey. I do everything. I run from this side to that side to help customers to stock shelves. I am I am the stocking shelves with flip phones. Now, now before phones the, that flip before the divorce. Yeah, you know, worked at Cox Communications for about eight years. Worked. Uh, How are they as a company? They decent. To, awesome company. Um, if you're field tech, though, you tend to get beaten up a bit. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Doing was installs it? and stuff like that? What was the phrase they use? We pay you overtime. You don't go home until it's done. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Ma ma many a day is going, you know, dude, 160-hour weeks. Jeez. I'm sorry, 160-hour paycheck. Sounds like the Army. That's what it was. 160-hour <laughs> paycheck. Yes. Yes. Um, the Army of Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of cocks running around. However, <laughs> you know, however, I would still go back and work for them. They are a good company, even though they'll be the they'll be the target of their field techs, but they're still a good company. What's your advice for guys trying to get in technology these days? Uh, bye, bye. Two computers, one that you can take apart and break, one that you use for everything else. Okay, I can dig that. So, uh, putting on your own OS and tinkering with, say, like a new motherboard and a new power supply, or what do you mean? You've got your learning box, and then you've got your work box. There's a, an old phrase, once again, race cars. You don't race your daily driver. 
I like that. Yeah. You've got the machine that makes you money, gets you back and forth to work. Then you've got the machine in your garage that you play with and you learn on. Yeah. A machine that you can learn on, call up a family member, you know, find somebody who's recycling a machine. Ah, yeah, like an old Dell or like an old tower computer or something like that. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. Uh, I want to say avoid the pawn shop whenever buying a computer. <laughs> Eli the computer guy mentioned that he uh, when he was working in uh, Baltimore fixing computers uh, it was a normal thing to uh, not deal with the registration CDs for Windows because obviously the computer was stolen and none of them would actually have the registration keys <laughs> well let's let's pretend for a minute that the shop had an honest registration key some computers have their Windows product registration key on the back. You can use mine if you guys if you guys want. By the way, just take the numbers, steal it from me. They stopped doing it with Windows 8. Oh, uh, really? I don't use Win yes. I don't use Windows. Um, what it is? So is that's that the actual case on the bottom there. It used to be. This is your serial number. Oh, really? Yes. This is your model number. Oh, there cool. used to be a certified Windows sticker either here yeah. or behind the battery. Okay. Okay. Um, they did that for when the computer crashed. However, Windows 8 depending on which version of Windows you buy, yeah. the product key is tied to the serial number of the motherboard when it really? registers. Yes, through the, uh, the Windows server. Uh, they do that to save, uh, save the developers and the installers money. This is really? why when you go on to eBay or Amazon, you will notice that when it says full version, it costs more. The reason is, is if your machine dies, the motherboard burns out. You can take that full version yeah. and carry that to your new machine that you just built. Really? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so and in a way, Fedora's going that way of product keys and stuff like that. I was hearing something about it. and I mean, I don't use Fedora at all. I'm always using Ubuntu. But it does that does kind of creep me out with, yeah. with Linux because having it tie down... If, you're not a, if you don't need support, like if you're on a business, there's no purpose in having product keys. So back four or five steps. But it feels so right. It's I gave you and I want you to know. Stand by my side. Get lost with you.